So here we are back in Hall 6 and I'm with Louis Kubel who is the Vice President of Arla Foods Ingredients and you are all about whey and milk products and how you can reach a vast, as you describe it, untapped market. Tell me more. Yep. So our focus uh, this year is mainly to deliver ideas to the uh, food manufacturers in order to focus, as you are also are saying, on the vast majority of women. Women are globally getting a stronger foothold in, in how life are developing and especially also focusing on how demographic changes are. So women are getting older uh, compared to men, but at the same time also they're very strong in their households also as they get education in a lot of developing countries as we see in developed countries already today. So crucially, women are also controlling far more of the household budget than they might have been in the past. I mean, in developed countries, we'd perhaps understand that, but you're looking globally, aren't you? Yeah, we're looking globally, and of course, a lot of our indication sites on, in developing countries, but a lot of the drive for the future will be in the emerging markets. So we have to focus globally on our solutions for our customers. And it's clearly that using natural way ingredients we have really to deliver good ideas to our customers in order to understand how they can use our ingredients. So tell us about some of the ideas that you're showcasing here today at FIE Europe. Yeah, so we're focusing a lot on, uh, you could say, the stages of a women's uh, life cycles. So meaning from the, the younger women who are getting education, having a very focused lifestyle, uh, thinking about uh, weight management also. We're looking also and when, when women then are getting pregnant, how to control that and then also as they get older and we all talk about a, a seniority or age focused uh, consumer trend also with, uh, with a, especially in, in a lot of the Asian countries you have seen for many years the focus on, on aging, on, on seniority, on how they are supposed to, to eat and, and they're also getting older and the same you will start to see also in Europe and in, in, in the US at the same time. We see a lot about whey protein as a very important part of people's diet and as you described just there, almost from cradle to grave. Yeah. How are you managing to innovate and deliver these new ideas that are going to keep that kind of product moving through the food chain and making it attractive to manufacturers? Yeah. For our foods ingredients, it's clearly that we continue to invest significant in valorizing our raw material stream. That's whey, it's coming from cheese. And as cheese production will continue to expand due to the link to the milk, and that there also will be an untapped potential, not only for women, but in general for food ingredients globally. We need consistently to develop our ingredients in, in cooperation also with our uh, customers. Whereas this theme uh, for this week is uh, clearly that women is a trend issue, and that's why we like to give some inspiration to our customers also. Speaking of inspiration, you've got demonstrations and foods, products and the like on display here. Yeah. What are you hoping to do to the people who are coming around to see your exhibition? How are you hoping to inspire them? Yeah, I think clearly is that we have various themes. We have five in total here we are showing, have showcases on. And then clearly it is to, uh, to give inspiration about where we see the trends, not today, but of course uh, maybe looking three or five years ahead. And we have even more in pipeline because as a company, we're focusing a lot on, on R&D uh, in developing new technologies which can bring new uh, products to the market in the future. Well, Lewis, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. If you do want to come down to the Arla Foods store, you'll see a, a huge array of brilliant design, brilliant products, and as I say, demonstrations going on throughout the three days that we're here. Lewis, thanks for your time. Thank you for